of a St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's deputy raises questions about whether Sheriff Randy Smith is even handed with deputy discipline. A Brandon Stevens was fired last year for using a curse word in a dispute with a neighbor. But another deputy resigned while he was under investigation for something Stevens considers much worse. Investigative reporter Katie Moore brings us the story. And I shouldn't have said it, but I was, you know, we, we all say things sometimes we shouldn't have, and it, you know, I could have handled it differently. Did you threaten his job? Absolutely not. So I just wanted, what I wanted was for him to keep the dog in the house. Well, so 24 hours later, I was canned, you know. Like most neighborhood disputes, this is a classic he said, she said. Dog gets loose, runs after woman who's walking in the neighborhood. Woman confronts dog owner about it. Only in this he said, she said, he got fired for what he said. This dog came out to attack me. I was scared to death. Lynn Blossman walks around her Covington Country Club neighborhood daily and says she's terrified of dogs. I was real apologetic about it and I said, I'm sorry, dear, you know, uh, she, you know, she's not aggressive, but, uh, you know, I understand she's supposed to be on a leash and uh, not be run loose. So, you know, I'll make sure it don't happen again. He was like making fun of me. Blossman is a member of a well-known, politically connected Covington family. Her house is a few blocks away from Brandon Stevens' house. And while he was off duty and out of uniform that day, he was the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's deputy. Come on, baby. That is until he and Blossman exchanged words about his dog, Pepsi. He's, he wasn't going to do anything about it. And so then uh, I told him, I said, well, I'm just going to go call the sheriff's office. And, and he said he used very foul language to me, which I won't use that. And um, he used foul, foul language to me and started flipping me off with both hands. And so he got so angry that I thought maybe he was even going to get out and hit me. I said, are you really threatening my job over a... Uh my dog barking at me, at barking at you. I said, go yourself, lady. And I pulled off. Did you say you were going to call Jeff Boehm? Yes, I did. So you I said, I'm going, I'm going to call Jeff Boehm. And he said, um, I mean, he's just the only person I knew in the sheriff's office. She said, you know who Chief Jeff Boehm is, right? And I said, yeah. And then she said, well, he's a close family friend of mine. I'm going to have a call and talk to him also about your job. Jeff Boehm is Randy Smith's right-hand man. He's a deputy chief at the sheriff's office. The day after Blossman says she called Boehm, sheriff's investigators came to her house to take a statement about her run-in with Stevens. They said, is there anything you want to add? And I said, yes. A man like that, the last thing he needs is to carry a gun. His temper is way too bad to carry a gun. Stevens was called into internal affairs, then given this termination letter that describes a confrontation between Blossman and a medium-sized dog. The letter says Blossman described Stevens as vicious and said she feared Stevens would confront her again. He should have shut up. And he should have, if he, all he had to have done that day was to apologize and say, this will never happen again. I'll, I'll do my best darndest to keep the dog locked up. Stevens was fired for unbecoming conduct, immoral or criminal conduct, and willful disregard of agency rules. He was very out of line, and I made the decision based on the internal affairs investigation to terminate him. St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's policies say disciplined deputies can ask the chief deputy for a hearing before an internal review board to try and get their punishment overturned. Stevens did and submitted this six-page response to his termination letter. It's so detailed he even disputes what curse words he used and points out that deputies in uniform swear at suspects regularly and are never disciplined, let alone fired for it. At the time Stevens was fired, Smith's chief deputy was Fred Oswald. And this letter from Human Resources to Stevens says Oswald denied his request for a hearing. You denied his request for an appeal. Is that true? No, that, that's simply a lie. Um, not only did I not deny his appeal, um, I was never given the opportunity to, to grant his appeal uh, because it was denied before I even could respond back. This wasn't the first, his first rodeo with complaints from citizens. I checked with human resources at the time and he had nothing in his file at that time. Nothing? nothing. No, no prior complaints? No ma'am. We obtained Stephen's jacket through a public records request and it contains no citizen complaints, just letters from citizens like this one, commending him for his sympathy and understanding on the job. 
The sheriff's office did investigate Stevens and another deputy for putting their hands on a drug suspect who, according to this report, was passively resisting arrest. No one was hurt and Stevens and the other deputy were cleared of wrongdoing. A month before he was fired, Stevens' performance review rated him as consistently satisfactory. The policy at the sheriff's office is quite clear. It's, it calls for progressive discipline. And I was shocked that Deputy Stevens was terminated uh, for an incident that occurred off duty, uh, not while in uniform, not drinking, uh, that occurred in, you know, as a, I guess, a neighborhood spat, I would call it. As Chief Deputy, STPSO policy says Oswald was supposed to approve all terminations, but state law still gives the sheriff the ultimate ability to hire and fire at will. He then went on to say, I don't care who you know, and basically cussed her out, used the F-bomb with the, the, the word off behind it. Unacceptable. Unacceptable behavior. I don't care who it is that works for me. A termination often prevents law enforcement officers from getting work elsewhere. In Stevens' case, the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office declined to hire him because of it. The part that's tough to swallow for Stevens and Oswald is that Smith allowed another deputy to resign, who they say has done far worse. That's Deputy Ricky Steinert, who was found to have fabricated the probable cause on DWI reports. Steinert resigned under investigation, but because he resigned and wasn't fired, he was able to get a job as a Red River Sheriff's deputy a few months later. It was a slap in the face. I think he hung himself, and now he's trying to blame it on, um, on somebody, I guess me, but he hung himself by his mouth. Stephen says he's uh, cashed out his retirement and he's now working construction to make ends meet. Do you think Randy Smith would have fired him if, you know, the average Mandeville resident had called? I don't know. I can't say, I can't answer that. In the end, it's a 15-year law enforcement career ended with the F word. Katie Moore, Eyewitness News. Smith asked the attorney general to review his handling of the Steinert case. No criminal investigation was done. The AG says the office has not yet finished its review in that case. And this story was developed with our partners at the New Orleans Advocate.